Thank you, everybody. <laughs> that was an exercise in paying attention to what the downbeat was and where it was. And remember, you don't make a mistake if you do it twice in a row. That's because the hand pans are...
humidity and <laughs> drastic temperature changes on instruments, mostly made of wood and metal. Still got a couple minutes. <clears throat> you guys can expect something completely different for the performance other than the songs you just heard. <laughs> we need to thank the opening band. I think that was the uh, that, that was that the Hanger Gator Jug Band. Hanger Gator Jug Band or a Jug Band Trio. See, we were going to be in uh, certain costumes for this uh, next band coming up. <clears throat> they were like, basically like, not furry costumes, but we were all going to dress as different animals and stuff, but it, it, with the rain, we just can't. Kind of like the mass Singer, but, you know, the, the North Florida Woods Edition.
Oneaters. That's right, yeah. So this is the first live practice of the Paralounge Oneaters. What do I call my what what? That's a very personal question. Uh, I call it Steve on a good day. And, uh, so this thing here, it's actually not synthesized. This is an overtone flute, if this is what you're talking about. Okay. So, uh, hi, Steve. So, uh, yeah, this is a uh, modern version of, version of, uh, of the uh, <laughs> totally Freudian look. Well, I have two children of my own, but the... Uh, this is a uh, modern version of the Fujara flute, which is an overtone flute. Uh, it's like playing a slinky. So basically, the uh, the softer you go, and it stinks because there's kind of breeze coming this way. Yeah, it's probably like six or seven octaves. I won't be able to get the low ones, and they're so like quiet, like you're barely breathing. Like think of oh no, that's really important. Um, mm. Very soft. Let's put it that way. It's very, very soft. You get this really super low note. Water my window. Let's see. I can't even tell if it's a rumble. There's two octaves below that. So there's the super bassy two octaves lower. And then, but the harder you blow, the louder, the, not necessarily the louder it gets, but the uh, higher the pitch. Storm. Oh, nice. So I, when I when I turned to come here, I was on a road that was eight miles long and four nope, so long. You didn't watch the video. So, so the, uh, me of trimbling. And it has the, basically the, three the note holes, but it's not like a normal flute figurine. It's, like it like it's, it's like playing hips. It's like playing a slinky in a way. It's, and I was like, this is this like, instrument like, was a lot of lonely nights at my warehouse making instruments by myself. But it's like with the same with the didgeridoo, you, you, you're, you're constantly practicing breath work, and this is that same thing. So if you took the ditch workshop and you're wondering like about breath work, and, you know, along with any other thing that takes breath work, um, this is that same thing. So you're trying to repeat a pattern, but you're literally trying to do like, like hard soft, hard soft, hard soft, hard soft. Where is that coming from? I hear a small feedback so thing. But anyway, so that's what this is. So you're doing breathing exercises while trying to uh, change fingerings in ways. So if you took the ditch workshop and I was doing the tonguing work with you, <coughs> man, this is. <laughs> so if you if you roll out the double and triple tonguing, tick a da tick a da tick a da, and then ding 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 like the tabla tonguing, tick a da 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 tick a da. Well, altering your breath work, and then you just do the tabla tonguing. Hold on, it's not working. Tongue's broken. This is actually like a Home Depot, literally right here. Piece of PVC pipe and... Cool. 
water wrench, and hose. Yeah. That's it. Reverb, and it sounds great. <clears throat> I don't know. You want to start doing something? These guys look bored. Hold on a second. Let me get this on camera. Ladies and gentlemen of Paralyze, I think we're officially going to start now, maybe, I don't know. So, yeah, welcome. We're, we're uh, the, I don't know what it said on the sheet, but, you know, the, the All-Stars sounds a little snooty to me. So, we've been coming up with all sorts of band names and, you know, just kind of to kick it around. So, <clears throat> we've all been playing in different things, you know, we've been at Paralyze forever, and, and um, we're all kind of like here for the first time, really. We met together on Zoom once or twice or something like that and just kind of kicked around some ideas, making sure the tunings match. And um, I don't know, it's all the stuff you've heard before, just in a different package. So uh, we got Eric over there, we got John, Stanislav, uh, Mark, Nate, Doug, uh, Jeremy, whatever. And, uh, <laughs> and then so. We're just kind of going through our things, but we're doing it together. So everything you've learned in workshops is essentially, we're applying that to ourselves literally right now. So hopefully you don't mess up. <laughs> what? Yeah, it's all about the packaging. So anyway, uh, yeah, we're a little pair of lounge, hang gator band. Or, no, that was the opening band. Or the trio, the trio or something. Anyway, enjoy.
sound, everyone. Very nice. The complaint section's over there in the middle of the lake, just so you know. Feel free to swim over there. So you guys want to do something with the yoga?
Yeah, that's it's a, not a mistake if you do it twice. Don't do that again. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. We'll make it work. <laughs> 